Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Amr Shah from the University of Engineering and Technology, Texla. I'm from Electronics Engineering Department, affiliated with the research group Syndicate of Embedded and Electronic Design, SEAT. Today, I'm going to present my research work on detection of acute coronary syndrome using ECG signal analysis. Here are the contents I'm going to present. Introduction, literature review, proposed methodology, results and discussions, conclusion and prospects. First of all, introduction. I would like to talk about motivation to work on this topic, disease of acute coronary syndrome. What are ECG signals? Motivation. Around the globe, about 31% of the people are currently suffering from cardiovascular disorders. Particularly, acute coronary syndrome is the most prominent one in maintaining high mortality rate and its incidence and privilege is increasing rapidly. According to the research statistics, about 17.5 million cases are reported annually. ACS resulted in 1.6 million deaths in 2016. Various methods are used for the detection of ACS, which includes PPG, chest X-ray, cardiomyopathy, but these methods are expensive and highly complex. So there is a need to design an intelligent signal analysis for the diagnosis of ACS through the low cost and non-invasive technique. What is acute coronary syndrome? ACS is basically a broad term for situations where the blood supply to heart is blocked such that particular part of the muscle is unable to function or it dies completely. It can also cause heart attacks. Typical symptoms of ACS are chest discomfort, pain in stomach and arms, shortness of breath, sweating. What are ECG signals? Electrocardiogram is actually the measure of electric currents generated by SA node of heart. These electric currents are recorded using surface electrodes. This figure shows the normal ECG signal. It consists of P wave, QRS complex, and T wave. It is unique for every individual. Now, I will discuss about literature review. This slide shows the work that has been done on ACS signals in past years. In 2015, technique of high sensitivity cardiac toponym was used and obtained an accuracy of 91%. In 2017, artificial neural network is applied on ECG signals and obtained an accuracy of 74%. In 2018, stacked denoising autoencoder model is used that led to an accuracy of 73%. In 2019, researcher used SPM classifier for the detection of ACS signals and attained the sensitivity of 87% and specificity of 99%. In 2019, SVM classifier is used with a classification accuracy of 87.9%. Now let's talk about the methodology proffered by our research. Methodology is based on four steps. Number one, data acquisition. Number two, pre-processing. Number three, feature extraction. Number four, classification. Firstly, we go towards data acquisition. ECG signals dataset was acquired using ECG sensor of Betalino, the biomedical equipment tool gate, and surface electrodes. Data was acquired at the sampling rate of 1 kHz and the sample duration of 8 seconds. Dataset description. Dataset is summarized in this slide. Data was collected from total of 76 subjects, including 42 normal subjects and 34 ACS subjects. Now, Let's move towards pre-processing. Acquired dataset contains motion artifacts, hence it needs to be pre-processed. Empirical mode decomposition technique is used for this purpose. It is used for removing artifacts and for the region of interest extraction. EMD decomposes the signal into its IMFs. ECG signal is decomposed into 10 IMFs with highest frequency components in IMF 10 to the lowest frequency components in IMF 10. The waveforms of IMFs of normal and ACS signals can be seen in these figures. We can see that first IMF contains the instrumental noise, so it is ignored. 
The last two IMFs are also neglected because they contain the traces of motion artifacts. Finally, the pre-process signals of normal and ACA signals reconstructed using the IMFs 3, 4, 5, and 6. Here are the normal and ACA signals with and without pre-processing. Now let's move towards feature extraction. Feature extraction is the most important stage in signal processing. Various statistical, time, and frequency domain features were applied during experimentation. Then, using substrial analysis, eight features are extracted, out of which four are mel frequency substrial coefficients, MFCC, and the other four are gamma tone substrial coefficients, GTCC, MFCC, and GTCC, given us the maximum accuracy. Now, let's move toward classification. For classification, we use support vector machine, which is highly discriminative classifier. It is a binary classifier which segregates the data into classes by drawing hyperplane. It is the robust and less complex machine learning algorithm. Now let's see the results that we have attained during study. We have achieved the highest accuracy of 97% using tenfold cross-validation and SVM quadratic confusion matrix. Confusion matrix shows that the accuracy of 97% is obtained with an error rate of 3%. It also shows that the sensitivity of 96% and specificity of 98%. Evaluation parameters. The table shows the complete performance and evaluation of different classifiers in terms of accuracy, sensitivity, and specificity. Classifiers comparison. Comparison of different classifiers is shown in this figure in graphical form. It can be seen that maximum accuracy is shown by SVM quadratic. Now, let's move toward conclusion and prospects. Finally, I will conclude my presentation by saying that we have proposed a simple and the robust method which achieves the highest accuracy of 97% as compared to the other past methods which were complex. This research provides accurate method for the classification and detection of acute coronary syndrome. In future, we aim to extend our research by enhancing the dataset in order to design highly reliable embedded system for the real-time application based on our proposed methodology. Thank you.